Ukraine. Antler gathering is a wildly popular pastime here in Utah, but there's a big change you need to know about before heading outdoors this weekend. Sergeant, Sergeant Chad Bertrand is here with the DWR. Thanks for being here. Chad, I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. I appreciate the invitation. Yeah, so um, what's the big change this year? Uh, not really a big change. There's just uh, some things that people need to understand about shed antler gathering. Okay. Uh, there's an ethics course uh, beginning today and going through uh, April 15th. And in previous years, was that ethics, ethics course not required? It, it was still there. It's just we, we want to remind people about it. That, Got it. Uh, if you're out in the field and you're collecting, you know, finding shed mm -hmm. antlers, that you do need to have this ethics course graduation slip. Got it. It's what do you learn in that ethics course? It's kind of uh, something that you learn that uh, it's a hard time of the year for deer, mm -hmm. uh, and we want to not stress them any more than needs be. So uh, the an on, the, on the course it will talk about different ways that you can uh, kind of be mindful of how the, the, the deer are, are making it through the winter time and, and not spook them and not make them run off and stuff like that. So that's the type of things you learn on the ethics course. Uh, once it's, it's a free course. You go on online on our website, uh, wildlife.utah.gov. And uh, once you're on there, you, you go through some questions, print it out, just have it with you. Uh, so if an officer checks you in the field, you just you just need yeah, to show them the you. course. Kind of like a license if you're fishing. Kind of like, like a, a shed antler license. It's, it, it is free, though, so it doesn't, doesn't cost you anything. Perfect. What are the best places to find these antlers? Honestly, before this morning, I didn't realize that this was a popular pastime. You can, you can go out and have a, a lovely hike and find an antler. For sure. Uh, a, a lot of the, uh, the areas that deer are frequent during the wintertime are mm -hmm. uh, public lands. Owned, some are owned by the Division of Wildlife, some wildlife management areas. Uh, it's, it's important to know that n most of these during the wintertime are not open to uh, motorized vehicles. Okay. So you're probably going to be you're hiking, hiking in, walking in, stuff like that. Uh, and if you find a shed antler, it's yours. Uh, if you can take it home, you can do what you want with it. If you do happen to come across uh, an antler that's attached to a skull or, or still attached to the deer, we do need to know about that. We'd, we'd appreciate you contacting us so we can uh, investigate it, see for sure why it died, if it was killed illegally and then potentially you still can get it donated back to you. Got it. So you still could keep it if you find it attached to, to could, the original uh, animal. We just have a process that we need to go through to, to get to that point. Got it. So that ethics course, you really learn about how to kind of avoid the deer that are, that are getting out there. Yeah, it's, it's just important to know that uh, wintertime is, is a difficult time for deer. You mm -hmm. know, uh, they're kind of storing up their fats to make it through the winter. And if you come across them and push them out of an area or make them right. run, that, uh, that does kind of tap into those reserves and, and makes winter harder. This sounds like a great introduction to kind of hunting and husbandry for kids. Absolutely. Uh, it's a great time to get outside with your children, with the kids, and enjoy uh, nature. Yeah. Kind of gets us in places that you haven't been before. Uh, let the kids kind of experience different types of wildlife and, mm -hmm. and how they interact with, you know, with nature. Perfect. Where should people go for more information? Uh, the, our website is uh, wildlife.utah.gov, and all the information will be on there. Perfect. And as always, you can find that information on our website as well, abc4.com slash jmu. Brian? All right. Thank you, sir.